Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this super easy and beautiful mosaic granny square. You could of course crochet it in multiple grannies or you can keep going in the round. This makes a beautiful baby blanket or pillow cover and now I will show you what we need. Today I'm using a 5mm crochet hook. You will also need a pair of scissors, a darning needle and your selected yarn. I'm using Paintbox Aran. This is a 100% acrylic yarn in two colors. Of course you can use any yarn you would like and the recommended hook size. And you could also use more colors. This is totally up to you. But this is what I am using today and I will put the link for the yarn down below. And now let's get started. We will start with a magic ring and chain three. One, two, and three. The chain three counts as our first double crochet. Now you will yarn over, insert your hook into the magic ring Grab the yarn, pull up. We have three loops on the hook. Grab the yarn, pull through two. Grab the yarn and pull through two. We will be working in double crochets. So we will need a total of three. So the chain three counts as our first double crochet. This is our second. And now we need a third one. We will start this granny as usual on a no like a normal granny square. So after our three double crochets, we will chain three. Now yarn over, insert into the magic ring and three more double crochets. After the three double crochets, we will make a corner. So we will work three chains and Yarn over, insert into the magic ring, and three double crochets. Now you can pull the magic ring a little bit, just like this. And again, chain three, and into the magic ring, three double crochets. One, two, and three. To finish our first round, we will chain three and insert our hook into the third chain from the beginning. So one, two, and three. Insert your hook into the third chain, grab the yarn and work a slip stitch. And we just finished our first round. For round two, we will chain three. The chain three counts again as our first double crochet. Yarn over, go into the space right here and work two double crochets. Now we will skip into the next space right here and work a corner. So work three, double crochets then chain three and three more double crochets into the same space one two and three and this is how you crochet a corner it's always three double crochets, chain three, and three double crochets. And we will repeat this all the way around. So yarn over, go into the next space, work three double crochets, chain three, and three double crochets into the same space. One, two and three. 
now go into the next space and do exactly the same thing. So three double crochets. Chain three. And three more double crochets into the same space. So one, two, and three. Now we reached our last space and we already worked three double crochets. So what we need to do <coughs> is crochet three double crochets. Chain three. And we finish off in our chain three. So one, two, and three. We insert our hook into the third chain, grab the yarn and work a slip stitch. Now I'm going to change colors. So we are going to chain one, pull tight, cut the yarn, grab your hook, pull the hook all the way through and pull tight. So this is how we crochet the first two rounds. Now you can pull the magic ring closed just like this. Now I'm going to change colors. So I will make a slip knot, put it on my hook, pull it tight and I'm going to start always in a corner. So I will go into the chain three space, insert my hook, grab the yarn, pull up. We have two loops on the hook, grab the yarn and pull through both loops. Now I'm going to tie the knot a little bit and chain three. The chain three counts as always as our first double crochet. So now we will work two more double crochets into the same space, just like that. Now into the very first space right here, we will crochet one double crochet. And now we have to go one row down. We have three double crochets here and we need the one in the middle. So now yarn over twice, go with your hook behind the double crochet in the middle, the second one. You can see the double crochet is laying on our hook. Now grab the yarn, pull through. Grab the yarn, pull through two loops, grab the yarn, pull through two, and grab the yarn and pull through two. This is our front post double crochet. Now yarn over, insert into the same space again, and work just a normal double crochet. Now we reach the corner, so as always we will crochet three double crochets, chain three, and three more double crochets. So one, two, and three. Now we will do exactly the same thing like we did here. So into the next space, you will work one double crochet, then you will yarn over twice, go behind the double crochet in the middle in the previous round, grab the yarn, pull through, grab the yarn, pull through two, grab the yarn, pull through two, and grab the yarn and pull through two. And we always work with three stitches so it's a double a front post and then a normal double crochet into the same space now we jump into the next space which is a corner so just three double crochets a chain three and three more double crochets 
One, two, and three. And this is our repeat. So I will show you one more time. We will go into the next space. We will always start with a normal double crochet. Then you will yarn over twice, go in the double crochet in the middle behind it. So it lays on top of your double of your hook. Now grab the yarn, pull through, grab the yarn, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And one more double crochet into the same space. And you will repeat this all the way around until you reach your last space right here. I just reached my last space right here and we already crocheted a chain three and two double crochets. So to finish this corner, we have to crochet three double crochets. And a chain three. So one, two, and three. Now we will insert the hook again into our third chain. Grab the yarn and work a slip stitch. And this is what it looks like. Now I will show you how to crochet our fourth round. So the only thing you have to remember is after we crocheted the, ro the round with the front post, we will crochet just a normal round. Those are the two rounds we will have to repeat. So now we will prepare for the next round, which will be again one with front post double crochets. So we will start with a chain three, which counts as our first double crochet. Yarn over, go into the same space and work two more double crochets. The chain three counts as our first double. Now go into the next space right here and work three double crochets. This round is super easy. So three double crochets. Now go into the next space right here and three double crochets all in the same space. Now we reach the corner, so three double crochets A chain three, one, two, and three, and into the same space, three double crochets. Just like this. Now into the next space, three double crochets. So into a space right here. crochets, go into the next space, again, three double crochets, and now we reach the corner, so three double crochets, a chain three, one, two, three, and three double crochets. And we will repeat this all the way around until we reach our last space right here. I crochet this all the way around and now I'm here at my last space. So I'm going to crochet three double crochets. and a chain three, one, two, and three. And now again, insert into the third chain from the beginning, make a slip stitch, chain one, pull tight and cut the yarn. I'm going to change colors again. So cut the yarn, grab your hook, 
pull the hook all the way through and pull tight. Now grab your new color. I'm going to grab my beige again. I will make a slip knot, place it on my hook, pull it tight a little bit. And like I mentioned before, I always start in the corner. So this is where I finished off. I'm going to insert my hook into the space right here and work a single crochet since we have two loops on the hook. Now chain three, the chain three counts as our first double crochet and now let's crochet two more double crochets just like this and like I said before after the round of just normal double crochets we will follow with a round with the front post so now in every space right here we will work in the same pattern so yarn over insert your hook into the next space and we always start with a double crochet now we need the double crochet from the previous round in the middle so yarn over twice go with your hook behind the double crochet in the middle grab the yarn pull through and work your front post double crochet don't forget, after the front post, we always need to crochet one more double crochet into the same space. Now again, yarn over, go into the next space, start with the double crochet. And now we have the front post from two rounds down. But you will do exactly the same thing. So yarn over twice. Now go behind the front post, just like this. Grab the yarn and work your front post double crochet, just as normal. Then into the same space, one more double crochet. And into the next space, again, start with the double crochet. Now we need, again, the double crochet in the middle so yarn over twice go behind with your hook grab the yarn pull up and pull through two pull through two and pull through two just don't forget to crochet one more double crochet into the same space and now we reached a corner so three double crochets one two and three chain three and three more double crochets into the same space one two and three and now it's exactly the same and these are the two rounds we have to repeat. So again, into the next space, start with this double crochet, yarn over twice, go in behind a double crochet, two rows down, work your front post around it, and one more double crochet. Now into the next space, one double crochet, yarn over twice, go down behind the front post and work a front post, double crochet. Into the same space, don't forget to work another double. Again, yarn over, go into the next space right here Work a double, yarn over twice, go behind the double crochet two rows down in the middle, work your front post, and one more double crochet. 
And now we reached a corner, so three double crochets. A chain three and three double crochets. And then you will do exactly the same thing. So just keep repeating this all the way around and I will see you back once you reached your last chain space right here. I crocheted this all the way around. I reached my last space and we have to crochet three double crochets and a chain three, just like a normal corner. And we will finish into the third chain from the beginning with a slip stitch. And this is what it looks like. I, if I would um, crochet grannies just to crochet them together, I think I would stop right here because I really, really like the size and the look. But like I said, I will show you now how to do the next round. And those are the two repeats. So you just keep repeating them over and over and have a cute pillow cover or a baby blanket or big blanket. It works up really, really fast and nicely. But now, like I said, I will show you how to crochet the next round. So we just finished the round with the front posts and the next one is super easy. So chain three, go into the space right here and work two more double crochets for our corner. Now we will go in every space right here and work three normal double crochets. Just to prepare for the next row, which would be again one with the front post. So now in every space, you will just insert your hook and work three double crochets. Go to the next space, three double crochets. Go into the next space. Three double crochets. And now we reach the corner, so we work the corner, which is three double crochets, a chain three, and three double crochets. And now again, go into the next space, work three double crochets. And this you have to repeat all the way around. So just keep repeating this all the way around. Three double crochets in every space. And in the corner, of course, work a corner. And I will do that and I will see you back at the end of this round. So I just reached my last space and we will finish with three double crochets. Oops. And a chain three. So one, two, three. Now we will insert our hook into the third chain, grab the yarn, work a slip stitch, chain one and pull tight. Cut the yarn, grab your hook, pull the hook all the way through and pull tight. And now it's all nice and secure. The only thing left to do is just sew in the yarn ends. So we will need a darning needle. You will grab the yarn, pull it through, pull it nice and tight. And now just go through some stitches and pull through 
through. Now turn, go into the opposite direction. And again, pull through, turn again, and do this one more time. And now I can grab my scissors, cut the yarn, and you just have to do this with all the yarn ends right here. And we are done. I really, really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a great time crocheting and I hope to see you back soon. Bye.